So in this video, I plan to share a lot of home organization ideas that are easy, affordable, and practical for your house. I am gonna take you around to show you some areas that I have organized and also maybe just give you some inspiration, um, different ways you could use containers. These are from various different places. I will try to have as many links down below as I can. If you're new, my name is Lynette Yoder. I am from Sarasota, Florida, and I enjoy doing all things related to home and family. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and also hit the little bell notification. So I'm gonna get right into the video and just show you around. So the first place I'm gonna show you is my spice cabinet. I have been using the system for around a year now, and it has worked perfectly. I have pretty much not changed a thing, which means that it is working well for us. These spice jars are ones from Amazon. They are pretty affordable, and I also got these little labels to put on there. There's a lot of different variety of, you know, different types of things, not just spices. So I think they are linked in my Amazon store. And I also have a couple of random things in the back that, you know, are too big to put in some of these, or I'd rather just leave them in there. So, you know, there's room for some extras should you decide that, you know, you need more. But I have them on like these tiered racks, and I have them sitting alphabetically from left to right. That way I know, you know, where each one should go and it has worked out really well. And since I don't have a Cricut or something like that, a label maker, I had been sent these last year by the Talented Kitchen. She does all kinds of labels, different fonts, and she has a wide selection and variety. I am a big fan of Lazy Susans in my house. You'll see them throughout. This is just a good way to be able to reach everything especially in hard to reach places. So I have like oils, vinegars, uh, and then some extra like bigger things, baking, salt, and that sort of thing. Something else I do because I am limited in my amount of drawers is I hang my pot holders with a command hook right here on these doors. So it might not be the most picture perfect, but it is a very practical solution if you're looking for more space the next place I want to show you is my pantry and this is one that does sometimes change and I recently implemented a new system and I think it'll work. So something I really like to do is store dry goods in airtight containers and these are from Walmart. I have no problem with them. They work very well. I also had some OXO ones that I've had for years. Uh, so they are, you know, mixed here and there. These are the ones that are from Amazon or M Design. These are like a square airtight container, which actually helps use your space a lot better if they're square instead of around containers. So I just have a variety of different things in these and obviously having them labeled helps and the labels are able to be taken off. So if you need to change something, you could easily do that. So something else I wanna highlight is these Lazy Susans. I love them and I just recently put some of these uh, snacks, granola bars in them and I don't know why I didn't do it sooner. And you can, you know, swap out the sections very easily. And this one I've had for a while. I have like spreads, syrups, um, like a little container of sugar, uh, just some things like that. and. These are just so versatile. You can use these literally for so many different purposes. The next section is my snack area. So right now we're going through a very busy season of life and these prepackaged snacks are just very simple. It doesn't take me a lot of time to be able to pack the boys lunches and as much as I like to try and keep them from eating them <laughs> when we're here at home, they still do. But I love these stackable bins. Uh, they're clear, they're also M design. Um, and then that way I can just see everything at a glance. It actually looks very pretty. And I also have some of these that I can change out. It can fluctuate with whatever we're into at the moment, but I just have chips. And then also these cereal containers are from Walmart. They are the same kind as I previously mentioned and I really like these. I had some other ones and they really did not function well at all. These are big and I think they also have some smaller ones if you're interested. And then along the bottom, I have these white bins just to sort of separate the different items. I've got some bread, I've got mostly crackers in here and then I have like a variety of other snacks, potato chips, etc. The rest of the pantry is a pretty typical. I have these risers here for soups and other types of canned goods. And then I have like a baking bin 
that's kind of a miscellaneous one. That way you don't see everything, but you know that, you know, your extras can be somewhere. So all in all, I feel like it is working well for us. I love the system and I love that it is functioning for us. So in our fridge, we have a section that is specifically for the kids and also just a place to put fruits and that kind of thing. They are able to reach it themselves. And having little containers to divide up your spaces really keeps things a lot more streamlined and organized. On the door here, we have a place for their yogurts and Oakland loves these little pouches cheese sticks, things like that. That way, you know, it's right there. They can get it themselves and it's something that I'm okay with them eating, at least most of the time. So this is just a good way to be able to kind of keep things organized and yet have them accessible. I do have some of these clear bins in our refrigerator on top as well and I do need to get some more things and it's not like the most picture perfect but it is practical and I just thought I would show you guys these. These can be used in a lot of different you know, areas. They don't have to just be used in the fridge obviously but they work really well. I have like yogurts in here. I have a place for drinks. I have an egg container. This is sectioned off for meat because you know how meat can tend to, you know, like drip and maybe leak. Uh, that way it's all contained in a container and yet it's not like closing off the space so that you can't see what's in it. I have several Lazy Susans in here. There's one on that shelf and one here. And then also I have another bin up here for like my heavy creams, half and half and things like that. I thought I would show you guys my coffee station and a drawer where I have a lot of that stuff organized. I have, you know, obviously the coffee maker right here and then I have my syrup and a scale and a container for my coffee beans. So in this drawer, it's a really big wide one. Um, I recently got some of these expandable uh, drawer dividers and I really like them. I have them used in another drawer as well. So there's different sizes you can get and there's different types. These are bamboo, which are a little bit more expensive, but you can find like the white plastic ones that are, you know, cheaper. But here I have like different teas. I've got some like vitamins, um, things like that. I have the boys's uh, vitamins right here. That way they can reach it themselves. And then I have just some various other things here. I've got K-cups. We do still have our Keurig so that when we want to use them, I still have, you know, some of these on hand. And the rest of the stuff is just things that I use for my coffee. But this one, I believe, uh, came from Ross. But these containers that are sectioned off are really great to keep things, you know, in their categories and keep things organized. Another thing that I like is these, I don't know, water bottle holders, I suppose. Um, they don't fit like the really big ones, I will say that. However, they fit like your standard size uh, bottles. It's a good way to not have them like fall over and just, you know, get all jumbled in your cupboard. So I have those on the top shelf and that works out really well. And I have one of these for some of my coffee. They actually have sections in it and that one could be used for a lot of different things. One good way to use it would also be for like your spice packs, for you know taco seasoning, ranch seasoning, things like that. That would be another really good way to utilize it and keep things organized. So utensil drawers can easily become very disorganized and chaotic. Having these little dividers helps tremendously and these were all from Dollar Tree. I don't know that they're carrying them recently but they're very good quality. They have some rubber here and they're long. They also have the shorter ones like here in the back. Um, so check those places for things like this and I just have them sectioned off into like categories basically um, and it works pretty well. You can see it and you know there's it's still easily accessible. So the next thing I'm gonna show you is these beautiful glass containers that I got off of Amazon. They are airtight, they have a bamboo top. These are the taller ones, I'd say maybe 10, 10 inches. These are maybe like a five to six. So they have two different sizes. They come in a set of, I think six. So three of these, and three of these. And there's a couple different ways you could use them. What are you playing with? Oh, you've got you, huh? The cutest little shop made her these, so that's what you hear banging in the background. It's our little family. Someone made them for us, right? So I thought I'd show you a couple of drawers here in our office that I have kind of recently 
redone. I have this container that is from Amazon. Uh, I have two of these actually, and it works really well. Um, another thing you can do is add a little bit of sticky tack to the bottom of these, and that way they won't like slide around. But this is just a drawer to have, you know, the necessities that you might need in an office. And I love separating things by color or making things colorful. Um, I've got some erasers back here, some post-it notepads, and then I've got a variety of pencils, pens, markers. I don't know about you, but it seems like things just disappear. So I'm uh, trying to keep things stocked up. The boys have a habit of coming in and taking them and things like that. So this is just a place that I can have everything all in one. And it's right here in the middle um, between both of our chairs. And then in the bottom drawer, I thought I would just show you what I do with our paperwork and receipts. I had had a question or two uh, the last time and I have these expandable file folders where I just keep things. Um, I also have this cute little pocket. Um, it's like a silicone feel to it that Target had in their dollar so spot. And this is where I'm like keeping receipts for our Beneva Palms job. And then I have my notebook that I am um, using to jot things down. And then I have a pink one that is also used for receipts and stuff from last year. And then also we have a, a couple of different things that I need to keep separate for our jobs. So that's where I'm keeping a lot of the current uh, things that we're dealing with and things that, you know, come in. I don't have a lot of paperwork. A lot of the things we use are maybe set on auto pay or we don't get, you know, actual statements in the mail. Some of them I throw away. Others, um, we just get like electronic uh, things. So keep that in mind. I do have like a big bin where I have older files and things that I have not yet thrown away and things that are important. So I have like a, a decent sized bin with like file folders in there. And then this is just more stuff that I'm dealing with on a um, short term or like this year basis, if that makes sense. So just a couple of ideas to help you out if you're looking for some. I keep all of my gear in this drawer. I have one for uh, different types of uh, like headphones, cords, chargers, my mic, um, hard drives. This little thing is very handy. You can take it with you. It's actually, it could be used for different things. It could be used for like pills or could be used for bobby pins, things for like little girl's hair. Um, but this is something that I can take downstairs and it's very portable. You could keep in like batteries or like a, a little pack to take along in your car. What is it? Yeah, you can't have that. Okay. Can you go put it away? Go put it away. Put it back in the bin. So these little bins are extremely handy for anything related to like crafting, uh, for, you know, markers, pens, whatever. Um, you could also stick in like the notebooks over here, um, you know, cause there's a bigger section. So these are really nice. So this is a random idea for you guys. If you are needing ideas of what to do with Christmas cards or pictures or whatnot, I've been doing this for years. I just punch a hole in the corner of the pictures and put one of those little rings on them and you can leave them set out. It doesn't take up a lot of room. If you're looking for other ideas uh, besides like mounting them somewhere, this would be a great option for you. And then each year you just have your separate packs of pictures. So a great way to keep your photos organized and also fun to look at is with chat books. Uh, these are ones that I've used for a long time. For a while I didn't print any, but these are set up to go directly from like your Instagram account. You could set it up on a subscription basis and it'll fill it and print it once it's, you know, reaches the amount. Uh, or you could just set it up for your camera roll as well. My kids love them. It's just, I love this way of being able to tangibly see your pictures because if you're like me, I don't print a lot of pictures anymore and so they just sent my phone and this is at least one way that I have actual you know, photos to look at. So something I like to do is color coordinate our clothes. Uh, this just, it kind of makes me happy. Um, I'm using the velvet hangers. These take up very little space. They hold your item without it slipping. There's, you know, less marks to deal with, but I love seeing like rainbow colored 
clothing and you can kind of you know look at it as far as what color you're looking for uh, there's also you know you could divide it into your different sections but this is just how I have it in my closet and I like it so I do have my skirts hanging here sort of color coordinated as well uh, right alongside like my longer dresses and for Nick's side I have them separated by type and color so these are his dress shirts. Um, they might not be completely organized, but they generally stay this way. And I do have the wooden hangers. I feel like it makes it look just like a step above the normal hanger. So they're a little bit of an investment, but I got them on Amazon quite a long time ago. And also like home goods, I forget, I mix and match, but I really enjoy that. Uh, and then down here, he also has somewhat color coordinated. Um, I try to keep it this way um, and then it's just like his regular shirts and it's easy for him to you know go to the color he's looking for. In Oakland's room I don't have closet doors because I wanted it open and I love seeing the pink in there and also I love seeing her cute little clothes. I have those white bins up there separating different uh, things like pampers, wipes, etc. And then I have the velvet hangers for her as well and these are in like a rose pink and I have her clothes hanging um, by color as well and it just literally makes me so happy. So this shelf cube thing was a DIY that Nick and I did before she was born. We just took one of those cube shelves and wrapped it with wood, stained it and added some legs to it. Uh, these baskets are from Target. They're very sturdy and I'll be able to use them for years I'm sure. And I just have different, you know, categories for clothes, extra clothes, or gear, blankets, etc. So I have a dresser here in Oakland's room, and I thought I'd show you the one drawer. I have them separated here with some clear acrylic containers. These were from at home, if I remember correctly. Uh, it's a very shallow drawer, and I'm able to fold them sort of like in a rectangle, and that always saves space. Plus, you can see everything at a glance. And I'm also not opposed to having different bins where I throw in the kids' clothes, which is what I've done for years, like clothes that don't you know, matter if they get wrinkly. It's super easy and you can throw it in, get it out, you don't have to fold it and things like that. So uh, I do have areas that I do that with the kids clothes, but I also have areas that I like to fold things if I can and be able to see them neatly. And this is sort of like the KonMari method where you fold things in like a rectangle. I'm not as like precise as she is, but it's the general idea of being able to see everything at a glance. And just to show you that I don't have everything organized, here you go. So another thing I love are the Ikea <laughs> scub containers. I think that's what they're called. Um, they have some that come in sets. So there's like a square and then also they have some that are rectangled and then these square big containers. They're great for deeper drawers and like dresser drawers, separating things into categories. And they're very inexpensive. I believe maybe seven for a pack. Hey, just leave them in there, okay? So just a great way to keep things organized. Can you show them your shoes? <gasps> Where's your shoes? <gasps> they look at the cute sandals. Are they so cute? Wow. So I needed to reevaluate the space above my kitchen sink. The cabinet was very messy and it really wasn't being used very well and so I rearranged some things and put all my bowls and my white nice dishes or clear glass bowls, things that I don't use as much but still make sense together. This is what I came up with and I'm not used to having mixing bowls on like in my top cabinets. I don't know why but it's something that I guess my mom never did and I never did either but it actually makes sense to me because it wasn't, previously it really wasn't working out that well and this is just a nice way to keep things organized. I have a smaller container like these. This is a Pampered Chef bowl. So then I also have a smaller one that can sit right here. It's not terribly full, but then I also have, you know, things up top that I really don't use that much. So they're not, you know, I'm not using them on a daily basis. Um, and so it looks a lot prettier as well, but it's, I don't have a china cabinet or something like that. So I am, you know, trying to kind of put things together that make sense. 
So in my laundry room, I have some of these clear glass containers and these are from Walmart. Uh, they have housed different things over the years, but right now I have clothes pins. I have like a pre-treater for laundry stuff and then also I've got like sponges and things like that. These are often seen in craft rooms uh, for markers, pens, you name it, and those always look so pretty. Um, but for me, I'm using them in my laundry room. You will see a lot of bins like this in my house. Uh, these are upstairs, I have them down here, and these are for like all of my cleaning rags and things like that. So, you know, they look pretty, but they're very practical and they're not heavy. This one has a lot of my cleaning supplies. It's out of reach, Oakland can't reach it, and um, I can just easily get it down when I need them. All right, guys, I'm gonna end the video here. I know I'm in different clothes, but uh, lately I have had a bad habit of forgetting to film an ending or not getting around to it or something, and then later I have to come back and film it. But I hope today's video was relatable and it was practical. I feel like my house isn't all that Pinterest worthy as far as how everything looks, but I feel like I have a lot of spaces, spaces that function and are practical for us, and I hope that it gives you some inspiration for your space and whatever you're doing. Uh, I just, I wanna be relatable and I want things to be easily attainable for you guys as well. And also, as a way to end the video, I'm gonna share a Bible verse with you guys, and it's a very common one, but I'm a Christian and I love sharing some things with you guys from time to time, and it's a verse from Philippians 4.13. It is, I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. If you're having a good day or a bad day, whatever the case, I hope that you can rely on God's strength and just know that Jesus is bigger than anything. And it's something that I know that I need to remember. Um, there's a lot of times I just wanna take things in my own hands, but I know that Jesus wants us to just give our problems to him and trust him completely. So I hope that encourages you guys and thank you all so much for supporting our channel and watching my videos and sharing them. It just means the world to me. So thank you so much. I will see you all in my next one. Bye guys.